everyone, I'm Richard, lead gameplay engineer for Metalhead. I'm going to take you through gameplay and community requested features in Super Mega Baseball 4. Our player traits that we introduced in SMB3 received a warm welcome from fans, and we received many requests to add new additional traits. In SMB4, you will find 75 unique player traits, including all 20 that were in SMB3. Players with traits were also much more common than they were in SMB3, as the majority of players now sport one or two traits. Many of the new traits focus on making batter pitcher matchups more dynamic. You will need to approach each at bat more carefully to leverage your player's traits and to not fall prey to the opposing player's specialty. While the expanded lot of player traits helps make players more unique, teams in Super Mega Baseball have always been essentially the sum of their players. We thought, of, is there a way we can deepen franchise mode and the new shuffle draft mode to add another access to the equation when constructing your roster? This led us to our new team chemistry mechanic. Team chemistry sees the makeup of your roster affect the potency of your player's traits. Here's how it works. Every player in SMB4 is one of five different chemistry types, such as spirited, crafty, and let's not forget about everyone's favorite overdog and his competitive chemistry type. Every trait in SMB4 is also assigned to one of these five chemistry types. For example, RBI hero is a spirited trait, while the new sign stealer trait is crafty. If you have at least three players on your team of a gimmick chemistry type, then all traits of that chemistry type are boosted from a small benefit to a medium benefit, or reduced from a large penalty to a medium penalty for negative traits. Having at least seven players on your team with the same chemistry type boosts the traits of that chemistry type even further from a medium benefit to a major benefit. For example, having seven or more spirited players on your roster means that the spirited RBI hero trait provides the maximum boost to any players that have that trait, even players that are not spirited themselves. Team chemistry presents new considerations when signing and releasing players in franchise mode and deepens the strategy when it comes to selecting players in shuffle draft. Speaking of franchise mode, people did not like how players randomly left their team for free agency at the start of the offseason. For SMB4, we wanted to add some more control over when players stayed or left your team at the end of the season, but still maintain some of the variability that makes each franchise playthrough special. So we added a new player re-signing feature. Each rostered player in franchise mode now has a loyalty attribute that represents how loyal the player is to the team. Throughout the regular season, you'll be presented with new manager moments. Each moment presents a decision that will affect one or two players' loyalty. Once you arrive at the end of the season, there is a new player re-signing phase. Every player on your team will present to you their asking salary for next season. Players with higher loyalty will ask for lower salaries relative to their abilities, while players with lower loyalty will ask for higher salaries. You can choose to re-sign the player at their asking salary, guaranteeing that they stay with your team, or you can offer to re-sign the player at their current salary. However, a player may reject this offer and become a free agent. The larger the discrepancy between their current and asking salary, the more likely they are to reject it. You can also outright release players, freeing up salary that you can put towards re-signing your star players at their asking salary. In addition to player re-signing, we have also added many new player development opportunities and more random age-driven events to franchise mode. Some PDOs present a chance for position players to upgrade or downgrade their secondary position, while other PDOs allow pitchers to learn new pitch types. Random events can see pitchers lose a pitch type, and players can even randomly pick up or lose traits during these events. Finally, you can choose to have players from other leagues, including built-in leagues or custom leagues, appear as free agents during the franchise playthrough. For example, you can play a custom franchise with a league you created, but have Super Mega League and or Legends League players, instead of randomly generated players, appear as free agents from season to season. While free agents and player movement enhance customization within a single league, we asked ourselves, can we create a fun and replayable way to create mashup leagues that combine the familiar Super Mega League players, the new Legends League players of real life retired players, custom players, or any combination thereof? Our new Shuffle Draft mode allows you and your friends to do just that. In Shuffle Draft, you choose a league of teams to participate in the draft. All teams' rosters will be cleared. Then, choose which players to include in the draft pool and select which teams to control in the draft. In each round, you are presented with a choice of up to eight players drawn semi-randomly. Star players tend to appear early in the draft, while role players appear later when rosters start to take shape. 
While a traditional fantasy draft allows you to select from the entire player pool each round, there's a trade-off between agency over your roster and variance in the outcomes over multiple drafts. Traditional drafts tend to see similar rosters between playthroughs and tend to lose interest after a few times through. However, in Shuffle Draft, no two teams will ever come out the same, and it is a great starting point to jump into many of SMB4's other game modes. Plan to play SMB4 for an hour or two with a friend? Jump into a Shuffle Draft, then go straight into an exhibition game or elimination series between your two drafted teams. Fans are to their seats here at Sakura Hill. Want to mix up the Super Mega League rosters before starting a season or franchise playthrough? Shuffle Draft has you covered. My favorite way to Shuffle Draft is within online leagues. Leads can be configured to have a one-time draft or to have a new draft at the start of every season. Drafts are done asynchronously. There is no need to coordinate a draft time with a big group of friends. You can even join the league late, draft your team, and jump right into the season in progress. Super Mega Baseball has always featured small rosters. SMB3 rosters were made up of exactly 13 position players and 8 pitchers. This is so that every player on your roster matters. Just one weak link on the team can be detrimental to a championship run. However, we know that the small pitching staff could be difficult to navigate at times, especially after your star reliever took a comebacker to the face. SMB4's rosters include one extra slot for a total of 22 players, and the number of each type of player is no longer restricted. Most Super Mega League teams roster a ninth pitcher, though the pitching heavy Moonstars have added first baseman Testi Osteroni. In addition, pitchers can now play in the field and position players can be sent out to pitch, but good luck having success with that. That's okay. We've also expanded league customization to include a new free agents pool. These free agents can be customized just like the rostered players and appear by default in franchise mode before randomly generated players are available to be signed. In custom leagues, you can easily move players in and out of the free agents pool using the new player movement feature. This allows one-for-one -one swaps between two teams or between a team and the free agents list. Lastly, let's talk about changes to gameplay on the field. The scaling of our players has changed to allow for more room on the field. We've also improved the on-field cameras to enhance some gameplay, like our new line drive camera to help you judge whether to jump or not, and our new pitching and batting camera angles. You may have seen our updated UI in our presentation deep dive, and that shows up here with new field or input UI. SMB4 is very much still a baseball simulation with an arcade presentation. While the presentation has changed with all new character art, animations, and new stadiums, the core batting, pitching, base running, and fielding mechanics will be very familiar. With that said, the new player traits do bring additional variety and considerations to batter pitcher matchups. We've also added automatic intentional walks and the option to place an automatic runner at second base in extra innings of non-playoff games. And there you have it. Tons of exciting stuff in SMB4 that we can't wait for you to get your hands on. Thanks for watching.